On the table today, we have a large assortment of Treasure X Robots Gold Mini Bots. Hey everyone, this is Dan and you are watching Squirrel Stampede today. Thank you for joining in as I think I finally have collected enough boxes of mini robots. About 12 boxes here. The collection has 16 robots, so you gotta be careful. You don't wanna get too many or you're just going to start building this mass army of repeats. But I think with 12, we should have some pretty good chances to pull lots of different bots and maybe even some gold dip treasure. So let's begin the hunt and see which mini bots we can discover. Squirrel Stampede! All right, let's begin. We have Treasure X Robots Gold Mini Robots. If you recall, we had teased open a mono wheel guy. What's his name again? We'll find out again soon. Eight levels of adventure inside. Let's see what we can find. All right, inside we have our core mini bot in pack. What could it be? What could it be? We also have a red X tool stuck to what could be the treasure inside and our guide what is that mono wheel guy's name again rollerbot that's the name so we have 16 well 15 others to search for some with metallic finish some with glow in the dark some with color change abilities some with splatter finish many with different finishes gold finish transparent finish fluoride finish no what, what is that boiler bot has florio finish what is that Although I would really like to see this Star Wars Imperial Pro Droid Squid Droid finish would be fun to see too. Any of these would be fantastic to find. What did we find with our roller bots? Okay, that's what we found. A nice little reddish energy core on the back of him. And of course, the eight stages. Not as many as the large Robo Crocs that we have pledged allegiance to, but still plenty of awesomeness in the exploration of these. We begin with level one opening up our bot. What do we have to find? It is all so golden over. Well, this one's interesting already. It has a J.J. Abrams bad robot look. And you know what? It already has that distinguished look of the possible boiler bot that we were just making fun of. Level 2 is just exploring that, this box, and our X tool. Level 3, Landry, get us our vat of water. Radio Bossio. Thank you, the one and only friendly squirrel. Okay, so we are going to de-rustify this boiler bot, which I'm pretty sure it's a boiler bot. I don't recognize its face from the others. We'll find out once we place in. Here we go. And boiler bots rusting away. I used cold water to start with. I know you can use a little warmer water and may speed up the process. This guy really has kind of a Transformers look too, in a way. And it's starting to peel. He's starting to peel. He's been in the sunshine too long. Oxidizing, reoxidizing. What's the process of rust rustifying? I forgot. Pretty interesting with these though. These are one of the best transformation treasure X toys we've ever seen. And if you boil up enough of these, you are going to have a nice vat of metallic liquid. I'm definitely thinking this is a boiler bot. Boiler bot. Can we get ourselves cleaned up? Oh, I love the halfway point where it's like half rust and half bot. It looks so cool. And look at the Jupiter, I like to call it. Planet Jupiter swirling about the rust swirl. It looks so cool. I'm going to have to save all of this again into a giant vat of weirdness. But so far, it is really, really not coming off this guy. I think I should have used a little bit warmer water. A little bit warmer water. Let's bring him out real quick. Whoop. And so their boiler bot is in black. Would this be the fluoro finish? Which I, I gotta look this up in the dictionary. What does that mean? So it is pronounced fluoro. And it is representing fluorine or fluorescence. Not too fluorescence yet, but a little bit rusty dirty. Landry, X tool. It's closer to you than me. Oh, you're right. Okay, so let's open up our box and see if we can find this dude's legs. I think I already bent the X tool. Opening up inside Boilerbot's legs and a mighty surprise. So getting legs out and placing on. I'm going to have to get some paper towels really soon. And we've got Florobot who is so amazing. That was level five and six, level seven. What do we have for his energy core? It is a simple grayish blue striped energy core. And these, if you recall, will place onto their backs in this little clip. 
Well, I say we started off strong with this guy. Feels a little more massive too with the giant head than Rollerbot did. So now we can continue on and see what else we can find. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Make sure you have a surface that you do not care that gets a little dirty. I wonder what our next robot's going to feature. I sense good things with this pack already. Good things I sense. I love the little basic logo they have up on front. And opening up. What could it be? What could it be? Definitely different. Have not seen this one. It could very well be... Oh, there's so many kinds. What could it be? Well, let's see. This is dirty, so we need another vat of liquid. I've got a even more bubbling hot water liquid to try this time and dropping in. The metallic is like water falling off this one. It's incredibly cool when it's warmer water. Oh, weird. That is just distinctively weird. There could be several bots this could be. I see kind of a round central ball. Oh, I wonder if it's gold mantis here. Gold mantis, it's a little bit green. I see a little bit of green in there. That's probably who it is. Ooh, that water's way too hot. It's burning my fingers, it's burning my fingers. All right, Goldie, are you ready to come out? Yeah, he's pretty much been rustified. Rustify my robot, is that a song? I'm gonna run out of vats of liquid really fast, I think, today. Okay, so stage level five, something like that, was opening this up. We've got our legs, our mantis legs with a mantis, like a six-legged mantis, and our possible energy core. Building up our mantis. Oh, this guy's so cool. So bonus points for the back leg appendage going on. Six-legged mantis, of course and nice little mantis arms. Everything usually rotates up at the arms, head, and waist with these. A beautiful red, stunning eye. A grid-like insect eye. Treasure X-like X's on the side of his head, I believe, or is those? Yep, those are X's. Kind of low profile. And we can see what we have for his energy core. It's a blue one with a little bit of a crystal coming out. See the little crystal appearing? That's kind of a cool one and we'll place that in the clip on the back. I love how they're clipped in. It's just a little different than the larger robots powered from the chest. It's like they're carrying these clips around little minions for the larger bots. So that's Gold Mantis, probably one of the few that doesn't have really a special finish, but it is a special robot. And already so much to clean. I'm going to get a fresh cup of water. There we go. I definitely prefer a little bit warmer water. The transformation seems a lot more vivid. Let's see what we got for our next bot. Oh my goodness, it's the Imperial Probe Droid. Right on, I wanted to see this one. Look at that, so Star Wars-esque with the head on this one. And these arms are just absolutely fantastic. We're gonna drop the Squid Droid, that's the appropriate name, into some water now. His arms almost make it hard to fit into my small little vat right here. And melting away time. Oh, it just looks so awesome. Lost in a sea of rust. And on out. I love the dark black look of these robots. Squid Droid and Floral Finish Boilerbot can certainly go together. So far, I'm finding all my favorites right at the beginning. And finding our squid droid's legs inside of the box. And our energy core. Squid droid! You'll feel a little taller now with this on. Certainly much better. As for our core of energy, we've got another blue diamond. I think one of my favorites. Or is that ice? That could be ice. It's like the Empire sent out a probe droid found a bunch of gold, and then just said, I'm living my life now with this gold stash. It's got really cool ropey arms, long robotic squiddy-like arms. I'm not sure which direction the hat goes because this head could pretty much go any direction. Very nice. Also has kind of nice little Phillips screwdriver head up top. Dripping some rust still. You could also possibly say Matrix, a Matrix squiddy. Let's clean up a bit and do a few more. Welcome, welcome to the Treasure X Mini Robots Challenge! Three mini robots at once! 
That's right, Barry, we are going to try to do three at once. See what we can find. So what's behind door number one? It is a mini bot style, similar to roller bot, but it could also be skid burn. Door number two features a mini bot that could very well be another boiler bot or possibly a gizgold. And finally, door number three. What do we have? Another! Another possible boiler bot or giz gold. I'm wondering if we will be now pledging our allegiance to boiler bots soon. Watch out, Robocroc. Oh, and Robocroc is not happy about that. Well, then let's see what we got. We will do three at once. Will they be repeats or will they be new? That is the question. And in they go. Melting away. What are we going to have? The race is on. Well, right away, I already have some good news. I see a possible green tone to this one. It could possibly be skid burn. It could possibly be a glow-in-the-dark skid burn. What do we have here? I see a blue tone on this one, so that could possibly be Giz Gold. And I see a blue tone over here, so we may have Giz Gold twins. Giz Gold twins, that's odd. But they are melting quite fast. Oh, there it goes. Boiler bot down for the count. Each bot quickly unrustifying in their vat are going to see new bots with this batch. They're looking pretty good. And some bubbles going on over here with Gizgold. Hope he's not drowning. All right, let's see these guys out of their tubs. Door number one, we are looking at, that's gotta be glow in the dark skid burn. A glow bot, how very nice. Door number two yields a, another boiler bot. At the last second, what I thought was a blue Gizgold has now turned to a boiler bot. The lights are doing tricks on me. Well, what do we have in here? What do we have in here, Squid Droid? It would be the blue boiler bot Gizgold. We have redeemed ourselves with a blue Gizgold. Honestly, this robot style is one of my favorites, so I am okay with this. I have no problem troop building these guys into some sort of force. Well, let's find their legs and who knows, maybe some real dipped gold. On this side, over on door number one, I did not get my boxes mixed up, I hope. The roller wheel body of Skidburn and Another ice energy core. I keep finding these. These are like one after the other. Over in door number two. The body of Boiler Bot. And an energy core of blue stripes. And our box for our Giz Gold. Looks good with blue legs. And for our surprise. It is a red fire energy core, I believe our first of the day. So there is our second Florio finish, Boiler Bot, one of my favorites, totally. Skid Burn, another mono wheel character. I love the burn coming off the base of these wheels. Helps them stand a little bit as he tips over. And of course that body is made of glow. And then Gizgold over here. A clone of Boiler Bot, but a very nice looking clone. Love the blue, both these colors are looking terrific. And it looks like we have a special message from Mysterious Blue and White Squirrel. What do you have for us, Mysterious Blue and White? Magic Mixies? Are they robots too? Well, there she goes. Magic Mixies Mixlings. Well, I think it's from Moose too, so I think it's totally appropriate. Let's see what we got. We have to first remove the outer shell. You know, it does kind of look like a mysterious acorn. All right, there's five levels of adventure here. What kind of mixlings will you create? We start by removing the tab on the back. It must energize their matrix cores. Step two, we open up the bubbly top of the acorn. And we find ourselves an X tool of magic. Now we have an important note of morphlings. And apparently there's Morphlings, Enchanters, Flyers, Spellsters, and Vanishers. Well, level three, we rub the gem to discover what possible Mixling we have. I'm rubbing, but I'm seeing nothing yet. Is this the appropriate gem? I see no other gem. I see possibly the Mixling's brains up on top. It looks like a very pink 
pinkish brain. Moon is common, star is rare, diamond ultra rare, and crown is limited edition. And I've got none of those. I've got something that I think just says magic, unless it's above the sign. Well, we'll move on and use the X tool of diamond to open up our mixlings. So stage level four, we place down here and huh, the pauldron opens up and we have discovered inside this orange squirrel with ram horns, four arms, and this mysterious crystal rabbit squirrel with a short bob tail. Mysterious blue and white, where did you go? These are very weird robots. So I believe the X tool will also do something on some of these. It will activate some sort of special feature. I don't think there's much to activate on this. I just see transparent robot. Nothing to be discovered with this one. However, this one may have something with those extra arms. So we're going to, the arms go up, down, up. This ram squirrel is very interesting. Totally a squirrel, by the way, with a lioness tail. Those are actually kind of fun. Where are they going? Mysterious blue and white. And they're gone. Well, I guess that means we can get back onto Treasure X Robots Gold. Why are we all here for? And I think we should go with another triple robot challenge. Did you say another triple robot challenge? Treasure X Minibots, three at once. Three at once, that's right. What do we have in door vat number one? have something very odd and new with double wrecking ball arms. Door number two in the middle. We're looking at another possibly maybe new creation of bot. And door number three. Sorry, my fault, I slipped. Another bot of intrigue. So we have some very interesting finds this round. We have possible excavator and or gold crusher. I love those arms. So unique, asymmetric. Door number two may feature either gold slugger, which is a metallic finish, or a boxer bolt. Love the trap jaw-like jaw. And finally, we have either another gold mantis, another possible gold mantis, or a metal mantis. A metal mantis that changes color and water. So it could be either or. Pretty good finds this round of three. Let's see what these guys uncover. One, two, three. And they begin the burn. The burn of the rust on the body of. This guy had tipped over a little bit. I see a bit of a golden hat already quickly melting off. Door number two is waterfalling again. I love the waterfall effect. And so is door number three. It just is so cool to watch. With motionless water, it just water falls off, which is so fun to watch. Then of course, if you sluice about, you get Jupiter. Not really sure who we have there, Gold Crusher and or Excavator. I'm thinking maybe Boxer Bolts in here. I see green and it's anyone's guess with this Mantis. I'm not sure yet. Not sure with this one, although I'm seeing some color change in there. Very good, very good with these three. They're so cool. Continuing on the soak, giving them a little bit of help at times. This one definitely feels like Boxer Bots. Whoops, down he goes into the muck. And this one feels definitely, I think this is Excavator. It's got a gray metal body. And over here, I think we may have found Metal Mantis, but he's in a light blue tone. It does say change of color, so I'm not sure. Metal Mantis was a purple in the uh, instructions, but they have known to be a little bit iffy on those instructions. All right, shall we unsubmerge? Let's do it and get a full reveal on these guys. That's totally Excavator. Perfect name, by the way, with the X. Center stage, we're gonna get out Boxer Bolts. Very nice, a nice green. And finally, whoever this is, we're not exactly sure yet. It's got the three dots on its eyes, so I'm pretty sure this is Metal Mantis, who does change color in cold water, so we'll have to bring out a cold vat in just a second. This is so very interesting today. What do we have now for our body of Excavator? And Excavator's power core is nothing but a red fire core. Gold is a challenge so far. What do we have in Boxer Bots box? Tried to say that three times fast. Boxer bots, bots. Box, boxer bots, box. Boxer box, bots. Boxer, bo I can't do it. 
and some nice set of legs for BoxerBot. These guys are all very proportionable. And BoxerBot's Car of Energy is fire. That'll keep you warm. And finally, our Color Change Mantis. Oops, sorry to knock you, friend. Mantis with that exceptional second jointage of legs. And Mantis's energy core would be, would be a B, a reddish, roundish, five dotted energy core. Whoops, these three robotastic. So lots to be seen with these three. I think my favorite definitely is Excavator. It may just be the name, but I love the look. The double wrecking ball arm with the drill arm is a nice little extra touch. Nice stability legs, kind of a cool TV-esque, oh, I don't know, a gonk droid-like body clip there. Nice yellow hat, so I really like the balance of this one. Pretty bulky, too. Then it's Boxer Bolts here, pretty nice, in green, with gold knuckles to punch with, a purple knit cap in a way, and those jaws of steel. And then we have Metal Mantis in blue right now. He was submerged in warm. I'm curious what he's going to change back to. I already see a little bit of change here, maybe on this tail. Let's get one of these bats and fill it with cold, icy cold water. And here we have a nice icy bath for our Mantis. Very curious to see if we will get a color change out of this one. So into, the, oh, whoa, that was fast. A deep blue, just like the guide. A deep purpley blue. Definitely use some ice water too. That fixes up the transition really fast. Did you see that? Did you see how fast that was? That was crazy. Maybe we can mix it back. I think there's still a little bit of heat inside this vat right here. So let's see if we can go back to what it was. So there it is, a deep blue, icy blue. What a fun creation this one was. Fun bot of Row of Mantis and into the drink. Heat up a little bit. Is it going to be a light blue again? It is, it's a light blue. All right, you guys ready to see how fast this goes? It goes pretty quickly. It's a nice color change. Look at that, halfway, and then all the way. And this ice water never seemed so tasty. I really want to drink it, but probably should not at this point. There it is, what a transformation. I was worried the guide had it in purple, and it's more of a deeper blue, but I've never seen such a good transformation of plastic, of transparent plastic do this. So that is quite fun. You could do this like all day. Blue. Light blue. Blue. Light blue. So if you find one of these color change bots, you're gonna have like the best day ever. So we're doing pretty well right now. We have found nine of the 16 possible mini bots pulling a very diverse group of robots so far. Before we hit the last three though, I have one more giant box of Treasure X Robots Gold. I'm still on the hunt for another Robocroc. No, I mean Robo Jaws or Goldiator up top there. It's really quite the challenge at this point. When you have four of six, then you're going to highly repeat, but you never know. I had one more box available, so I'm gonna go for it and see what we can find. And there is our robot core, our robot crates, one and two. Underneath we have our X tool, let's fill with water. It could be any robot, it could be any of the six. As I said before, the only downside to these is it's difficult to see what you have, but we place inside to melt. Could it be Robocroc? Could it be Robo Jaws? Could it be Scorpa Bling again? Could it be Goldweb? Goldweb was pretty fantastic. Could it be Bling Jaro? Goldiator would be so amazing. There's so many. Oh, it could be something. I think we've got a silver body. If it's a silver body, that that means no to Robo Croc or Robo Jaws, sadly. I'd love to find a Robo Jaws, but I believe Robo Jaws is in blue. So this could be a Goldiator or another Bling Jaro. What could it be in the end? We will find out. It's so 50-50 with this one, what could it be? I'm going to take our X tool and remove from this crazy contraption base, always one of my favorite stages. I do like these bases for display, half of your bot. He's still drooling a little bit of rust even though after I washed him, 
We have freed now opening containers. Large container first should reveal body. Oh. Oh my. I think we may have hit it. I think we may have hit Goldiator. This is so awesome. I was so worried we'd see another Bling Jaro, but I think we found a Goldiator, our first on the channel. Goldiator arms, Goldiator legs, Goldiator shoulder pads, and Goldiator chainsaw. How very exciting. So now we build up Goldiator. Shake off some of this rust, of course. Goldiator has just a brilliant yellow look to him. Kind of kind of Bumbly Bee-esque in a way. I've, I've looked everywhere, but I think we're missing one of Goldiator's fists. We've got the chainsaw piece here. It actually goes on this arm. It feels a little bit better. But I'm missing one of his accessories. Oh no, that's not good. But at least we have most of Goldiator today. Looking good. Maybe in the other box. Let's see. Our other crate will we'll find our meteorite destructing things. And there is our special box, which inside holds our treasure core. And I'm going to bring back Megabot for this. Last time I did not get the best of shots. The Mega Treasure Bot, everyone. How is the oil ooze inside you ask? I think it's probably still doing just fine. Nice and oozy. So last time I did a awful job of crushing the box. I missed the feature. Let's switch sides real quick. I think I'll get a better angle over here. This lever arm claw is the best at crushing these boxes. What do you think, Treasure Bot? Are you going to crush this for us? Let's give it a shot. Opening up our claw arm. I think I've got this in view. And we're gonna give it a squeeze. And I've got a little bit of a crunch into it this time. Last time it exploded. Try it again from this angle. And squeeze. Oh, that is tight. This is much tighter than before. And it crushes. I had to use my second hand on that to burst open the box of treasure. Look at that inside. Oh, I think we may have found our other arm accessory. I was worried about that. So what do we have here? We have broken crate. We've just got debris everywhere. We have our second hand piece, which is new. It's not really second hand. It is a very nice looking dozer shield. Very cool. Goldiator, you are certainly one of my favorites. I think I'm going to be hearing about it from Robocroc later. So cool, so Bumblebee-esque in a way. Look at that, but a little more construction-esque, a little bit of predator X with these cables coming out the back, kind of predator-like. And we've got our mysterious meteorite compound, which is very, very messy, but kind of fun to build up. If you collect a few of these, you can kind of build up your meteorite bits or your rust bits, whatever you want to call it. And finally, our final, we've got a blue icy energy core, which will go right into the chest of Goldiator. Looking good, Goldiator. Looking really good, actually, with these two together. Goldiator and Excavator make a nice combo team, don't they? So we are finally at our three final boxes. We've collected 10 of 16, so that's pretty good. That means there is a small chance of six characters, robots left. Our odds are rapidly decreasing, but we stay optimistic. Door number one. Another possible excavator or a gold crusher. We'll keep our hopes up for gold crusher. My favorite, another imperial squid droid. This could be Pinchy. We may have found Pinchy. I just quickly saw the base and it felt more purpley than black, but I'm not sure. And our final mini bot that we will look for is something we have not seen. This one could either be Loco Goldo or Rust Roaster, kind of like a zombie train. So that is exciting. We do have a new one in the final round and possibly variants. I just may have to find a few more and drop them in random reviews. Here we go. We're dropping them in. I almost dropped the wrong one in. I see blue on this bottom. I think we may have found Pinchy. 
as my fingers get in the, the rust. Oh, it burns. Just kidding, it doesn't burn at all. It just looks really cool. I'm turning into a robot. And they begin to melt away, slowly melting away. Well, I see a little bit of red. A little bit of red. So that's probably going to be Rust Roaster. And Rust Roaster, I can't say that very well, has a transparent finish. So that's going to be really cool to see, though. Not the uh, gold one, though. It's still too early to tell what we have here. I'm seeing some stripes on his hat. It could very well be our second excavator. It's really hard to tell at this point. And Squiddy here, oh, it's really hard to tell here too. We're mixing them up a little bit. We're mixing them up. What are we gonna get? Pretty fun doing three of these at once. You just kind of sit and wait and watch what is going to happen. The competition, it's so intense. And of course, so sparkly. You know, I'm getting some good vibes right now on this one. I'm getting a different side plate color. I'm seeing some red in there. We may have found Gold Crusher, who has a splattering finish. That would be great. If we found Gold Crusher, and if we found Pinchy, and if we found Rusty Roaster, <laughs> I can't, Rusty Roaster. It's gonna be Rusty Roaster from now on, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm laughing. If we find these three, we just finished off a really great collection, finding way more than I expected. I expected a lot of Robo Crocs. All right, it's time for the mini bots unveiling. Who do we have in door number one? Shaking this guy off a little bit more. It could be so many things. It could be either or, it could be the same or different. I don't know, what do we got? Really rinsing this guy up. It is totally gold crusher with the metallic splattering finish. Awesome. And at door number two, do we have Pinchy? Do we have Pinchy everyone? I think we have Pinchy. Pinchy brings me back to Homer Simpson eating his lobster. Oh, Pinchy! One of the best scenes ever in The Simpsons. And finally, we have found Pinchy. Pinchy looking excellent. The probe droid has a companion. These are also amazing. And I'm pretty sure this is Rusty Roaster. Here comes Rusty Roaster, everybody. What a finish of three. It's been pretty exciting around here today. This has been a very exciting and long-winded review. Okay, so let's get their legs out, starting with Gold Crusher. Love the name on Gold Crusher. Just has such a utilitarian body. Very Star Wars-esque again with that round squarish body. And then these double wrecking ball arms are just fantastically fun. Let's see if we can rotate them down this time. And that head has a little bit of striped. And of course there's sparkle finish there. What do we have for Power Core? It is a blue striped one with a little dollar sign on the back. Very low on gold lately. And for our Pinchy, Pinchy is more blue metallic than purple. The guide has him printed more purple, but he's very blue in color. And there's Pinchy ready to pinch along with his power core. A red one with the red dots around the circle there. I'm a little disappointed that we have not found gold. I think they make it too hard now. Okay, so our last and final transparent finish Rusty Roaster. Rusty Roaster also with kind of a really cool base. It looks like molten lava or something. It's like roasting or maybe even a hydraulic power of fire. Is that even a thing? Hydraulic power of fire? And our final energy core, and sadly it feels light. It is another blue striped one. Either I'm really unlucky with gold or I don't know. I just picked up 12 today, 12, and we did not even find gold. But we found some great characters, so I'm not gonna be too sad. Up a little closer, I think I will now declare Pinchy and Squid Droid my favorites of today. They're just absolutely funny. It must be that 360 head. Gold Crusher, you can see the splattered finish a little closer on his hat there. It's just kind of speckled in there into his body. And Rusty Roaster is also very special. He's got that transparent finish of red. You can kind of gaze through him a little bit in certain spots with the fire. I, I think I would rather have the Rusty Roaster character than Loco Goldo. Loco Goldo would be the other option for Rusty uh, Roaster, which is kind of like a goldish body with um, some 
very fiery, greenish characteristics. And the only body type we did not run into today would be Chimp Saw and Claw-O Saw, kind of a four-legged, birdish, robot-like creature with spiky things coming from its head. We saw neither. Uh, this one with the splatter finish in black and this one in a purple body. Uh, so those are still out there as well as Loco Goldo, but wow. I definitely say we were in it to win it with the Treasure X mini bots today. We found pulled a high variety today with really only one repeat and that was Boiler Plot. So I pulled really well today and I'm excited to share with you all these exciting Treasure X mini bots. Plus Goldiator back there, what a find. And high honorable mention to Metal Mantis here. Lots of fun with the color change. So what do you think about Treasure X Robots Gold Mini Bots? Pretty good collection today we pulled together. If you like today's video, please give us a squeak, a squirrel eye, and a squamit, your favorite Treasure X Robots Gold Mini Bot. Thank you much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.